For your close read today, we will be reading a passage and then completing a worksheet on the following page, looking at character traits as we're reading. Now, as we're reading, we're going to end up reading three times. The first time, I want you to follow along with me and read with your eyes. The second time, you are going to read and record yourself. And then the third time, you are going to go back and highlight any character traits that we see. So let's go ahead and start at the beginning. Character traits. Stress. I know what you're thinking. For the kids trying out, right? No. I'm talking about for me, the coach. It is so stressful choosing which kids will make the baseball team and which kids won't. As I am looking out the field, here is what I see. Here is a girl to my left who is, well, not, I'm not really sure what she's doing. I think she is picking flowers out on the field and possibly chasing butterflies. Her name tag has her name and says her name is Danielle. Danielle doesn't even have her glove on. In the batter's box is a boy who has his eyes focused on the pitcher's hand. People are calling, Johnny! but it doesn't seem to bother him. Whack! Well, yep, he smacked it all right. On first base, there is a girl with a name tag that reads Jill. Jill is cheering on the outfielder that is about to catch Johnny's ball. She has her glove outstretched and is anticipating that what will happen next. Here comes the ball, oh no. It's a bad throw. Jill stretches out and, and catches the ball. Stop, I hear someone say in the dugout. My eyes land on a boy with a name tag that reads Kevin. Kevin seems to be bother, bothering another boy named Alex. Wait, did I just see that right? Kevin kicked Alex and took his water bottle? Okay, I think I've seen enough to make some important decisions. This was way easier than I thought. So for your assignment, you will have to read through this again by using the recording tool in the top. If it does not work, you may have to go to your settings and then allow audio in your settings. And I can try to make a video for that to show you how. On the second page, I want you to choose a trait that describes each character. Now to do that, you'll have to go back and find text evidence. Remember in third grade, we always go back into our text and find the evidence. So I'll do the first one with you. <coughs> For Danielle. So we're gonna go back into the text. This is after you already record yourself and we're gonna find where we meet Danielle and it's in the second paragraph. And it says, there is a girl to my left who is, well, I'm not really sure what she's doing. I think she is picking flowers out on the field and possibly chasing butterflies. Her name tag says, her name is Danielle. Danielle doesn't even have her glove on. So let's think about her character. And I'm gonna highlight some evidence here. She doesn't have her glove on. So that kind of sounds like she's not a prepared person. Um, she's picking flowers, so maybe she's very distracted. So I'm thinking about these kind of character traits that she might have. Now, if you go back to the previous page, there are some examples that you can choose from that'll help us um, come up with a very good character trait for her. So if she's really distracted, I'm trying to see what might fit her best. Maybe she's a little bit lazy if she doesn't want to play. That could be a possible one. Maybe a good one might be ditzy, actually. It's not on this chart, but I really like that character trait. Ditzy means that they're not really paying attention, they're not really in the zone, and they're kind of distracted. So I'm gonna use that one. Her character trait is that she is ditzy. Now I'm going to show you, if you ever have to make your text box smaller, you will have a double arrow on the corner and you can 
squish it in so it can, it'll get a little bit smaller. Now we need to use our text evidence. And I already highlighted that, so it's easy for me to go back and find it. So I can say she is picking flowers and doesn't have her glove on. I would like these to be in complete sentences. She is picking flowers and doesn't have her glove on. Yeah, make sure I have my apostrophe for my conjunction. And we're good to go. Now, I would like you to complete <clears throat> the following three. And if you still have time in that block, I want you to complete the following part, which says, create another character that the coach could have seen. Think of a character trait for them and list two actions they could have, they have done to prove that character trait. So you can make a little story down here and you can make up your own character. Then it'll be complete for our reading skill.